The U.S. Senate race in Georgia now pits Herschel Walker against incumbent Raphael Warnock in November. Walker spoke for about 30 minutes after being congratulated by former U.S. President Donald Trump, and the crowd went wild here in Midtown Atlanta. Walker took a moment to honor the victims of the Texas shootings. He also thanked God, Jesus Christ, as well as Georgia's voters, and says he is the right man to take on incumbent Raphael Warnock in November and encourage Georgia voters to do the same and show up at the polls. Walker talked about a small town upbringing and says he will be able to bring jobs to Georgia, as well as cut unnecessary red tape that prevents government from acting and helping private citizens. Walker also says that enough is enough and that Georgia needs to prosper and that Georgia is the key to the White House. He also took a moment to thank and honor those who served before him. You know, what's going through my mind is we've conquered one hurdle. We've got a big hurdle to conquer right now, and we got to come back together as a group and put a strategy together to go out and, and conquer this monster. It's going to be tough. The Democrat Party, they, you know, they, they vote together. They do things together. But one of the things that is that they got to hold uh, true to is those bad policies that they, they released on this country. They've got, really, they got some policies that hadn't worked for the United States, hadn't worked for the state of Georgia. When you got the economy the way it is, crime the way it is, the border wide open, you know, those are things they have the answer to. Walker wrapped up his speech saying that those who use weapons against us will not prosper. Again, urging Georgians to show up at the polls, bringing that momentum. This is very important, this race, because now it could give the Republicans a potential chance at regaining control in the U.S. Senate. Right now, it is a 50-50 split. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Sashadri, Atlanta Bureau Chief.